My mother likes to joke that I like my house so clean that I could perform an emergency surgery in any area of the house at a moment's notice. Today, we're going to talk about how to be organized, and it's going to be awesome. Organization is my superpower, and there is nothing I do better than being organized. Seriously, I probably should have started an organization channel because I love to be organized. Like in my soul, deep down where the warm and fuzzies come from, that's right next to my organization spot. But seriously, there is only one secret to organization. One, just one. And I'm going to tell you what it is. And it's shockingly simple. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Today I am collabing with Julia over at City Girl Living on a Budget, and we are talking all things organization. There are a ton of collaborators, so I will put them all in the description box down below. Go check them out and tell them I said hey. So today I want to give you the one secret to being organized for the rest of your life and give you a few little tips and tricks to be more organized. So what is the secret to organization? I feel like I should be building up to something gigantic, but it's actually pretty simple. Create a system for everything and make it a habit. I know, it's totally lame, but it's true. If you have a system for everything and you practice it daily, you will succeed. You will become organized. I mean, it's as simple as doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and you, you get the picture, right? Repetition. For example, every night before we go to bed, Mauricio and I make sure that we wash the dishes and clean the kitchen so that it is ready to go. Most of the time, Mauricio does this. This is his chore. But every once in a while, I do it. And when I do it, I do it in the exact same way every single time. What do I mean in the exact same way? I mean, literally, the first thing I do is I walk around the kitchen and I pick up every single dish and I bring it over to the sink. Then I walk around the house looking for dishes and I bring them to the kitchen and put them by the sink. And then I empty the dishwasher and put all of the dishes away. And then I take the dirty dishes and rinse them off. And as I'm rinsing them off, I put them into the dishwasher. And then once that is done, all of the hand wash dishes stay in the sink. I clean the counters and the refrigerator and the ice maker and every little bit of cleaning that needs to be done. And then I put out the drying rack and I do the hand wash dishes. And then last but not least, I make Mauricio's coffee for the next morning in his coffee maker. I use a Keurig, he uses a coffee pot. It's a thing in my household that we have two different coffee systems, but I that's the very last thing I do before I go upstairs. Basically, I have done this so many times that I can literally do it in my sleep because this is the way I always clean. So I never forget anything. It makes sense, right? They say it takes 21 days to form a habit. And if you wash dishes every night for a month, just like this, by the time you finish that month, you've formed a new habit and your kitchen will always be clean when you wake up in the morning. Another example for us is laundry. Every Saturday and Sunday, we do our laundry. We do it without fail and we do it in exactly the same way. And in fact, I just put up a video about my ultra organized laundry system. I mean, the system where I start with the dark colors every single time, every single time I wash darks first. So I will link that video up in the eye in the sky and you can check that out. But I am not kidding. Every single time it is the exact same way. So how do I know what to do and when to do it? Well, actually I have a few different systems for that. And you'll hear me say this a lot, systems. I have legitimate systems for everything. I'm a spreadsheet kind of girl and I have spreadsheets for my spreadsheets. 
not even kidding. So when I say a system, there is legit a system for everything. So I actually have three major systems for making sure everything gets done. The first is my day timer. Now my day timer is not pretty. It is not going to be one of those ones that people post on Instagram and are like, oh, she's so pretty and organized. No, mine is functional. There is chicken scratch in it, things that you can't read, but Every single appointment is in there. If I have an appointment coming, I throw the card with the address on it. Or if there's something I need to remember to do on a particular day, I'll put in that piece of paper in that page. So when I open up first thing in the morning, because again, there's a system, which means as soon as I walk into the office every morning, I open up my day timer and I lay it out. I know exactly what's going on. So the second method I have is a wall calendar. And on our wall calendar, we write all events that are coming up. So Mauricio can read it, Melina can read it, and I can read it. It's hanging in the area where I get ready in the morning and Mauricio has to pass it to walk out of the bathroom. And so that reminds us, okay, today we have swimming, tonight, tomorrow we have Spanish, you know, tomorrow we have a doctor's appointment. That way we'll know the day before an event comes that it's coming. And I can look, you know, weeks in advance and, and see what's coming down the pike for that month. And then finally, I have an electronic calendar at work. And the electronic calendar is basically for work things that I have to get done. Those appointments at work that I don't want to miss. And so it pops up a reminder when I'm sitting at the office, hey, you have the Senso meeting, which is also written in my day timer, but that is just a backup. So I know it alerts me to the appointment about 15 minutes before the appointment and I never forget. And that's how I remember birthdays too. If you are a close personal friend of mine and I know when your birthday is, it goes in my calendar and then I get a reminder a couple of days in advance that your birthday is coming up. So if I buy gifts for you, I'll go and buy the gift for you. And if not, then, you know, I'll at least know to send you a happy birthday email on your birthday. Shh, don't tell. People think I have an amazing memory. So what about things like groceries? How do I organize that? Well, groceries are super easy because I keep a notebook in the kitchen. And as soon as I notice that we need something, I write it down in the notebook. And whoever goes to the grocery store next takes that list and goes to the grocery store. So what about cleaning? Like I said, there's a system. So I try and keep our space in this house clean at all times. So there is very little cleaning that needs to be done. But when I see cleaning that needs to be done, I do it right then. I try not to avoid it. It does happen that sometimes I'll put it off, but it nags at me, so I do it fairly quickly. I will tell you in an effort to disclose everything, we do have a housekeeper here. It is paid for by my parents and she comes once a week to clean the house. So the house never really gets too dirty, dirty. So here's my question for you. If you had to give one tip, one tip like maybe how do you always keep your bathroom clean or how do you make sure that you always get the groceries you need or it could even be more general like mine like the one tip to being organized is making a plan and sticking to it which is like the theme of my life i want to hear your most and best organizational tips leave them down in the comments below one because i love organization tips because i love to hear how people do organizing differently because everybody does it differently and some people are super successful and some people aren't if you're super successful tell me down in the comments if you're not tell me that too if you find there's one thing you do better than other things then then let's all chat about it and see if if it'll help motivate you to become maybe a little bit more organized so i'll see you in the next one see ya we're out